Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details about stainless steels with different kind of steels, its compositions and applications. So basically stainless steels, it will be by the nature or you can say by the property wise, it will be the ferritic stainless steels, martensitic stainless steels and austenitic stainless steels. Now we will see in details. So first one, basically the stainless steels. So these steels, it will be known as a stainless steels because of it will be not corroded or you can say rust easily in open environment. So this material, it will be having a wide applications in the field of food industries, pharmaceuticals industries, milk industries and many more. So mainly alloying elements used to make the stainless steels that will be my chromium so chromium alloy that will be having a such kind of properties of anti-corrosion and nickel so these two major constitutions it will be added to make a stainless steel materials chromium and nickel stainless steels are further divided into the three categories that already discussing so first one it will be ferritic stainless steel so ferritic means the ferrite structure it will be present into the stainless steels so basically in these steels it will be contains with the 0.15 percent of the carbon 6 to 12 percent of the chromium that we already discussing chromium and nickel is present with carbon 0.5 percent in nickel besides irons and usual amounts of the manganese and silicon to improve the properties of the material so this is the ferratic structure of the stainless steels so if you observe that here it will be the 100 micrometer structure is there so ferritic steel it will be having a shiny surfaces and ferrite it will be present in the form of graphites so it will be having a white kind of structure so these steels are stainless steels and relatively cheaper than other one they are also magnetic in nature these days one and two rupee coins are made from such steel materials and it will be never corroded so these steels are essentially iron chromium alloys and cannot be hardened by any heat treatment process then next one it will be martin static stainless steel so as we already know that martin static structure it will be the hard structure so just you can see in this category it will be the retained austenite and undissolved carbide into the structure and some another it will be the quench and temper martin state so this tempering process always followed by the quenching process and in quenching process martensitic structure is being formed for the steel materials. So for martensitic stainless steels it always followed by the quenching process either it will be water quenching either it will be oil quenching or salt bath quenching. But in that case of to form the martensitic structure the rapid cooling is required and if you are want to make a tempering process so that will be always followed by the quenching so here the structure it will be formed it will be quenched and tempered so first of all quenching is performing onto this steel and then after tempering is process is also considering to make or you can say rearrangement of the structure but the basic structure it will be martin static structure and as per my requirement i would like to use tempering process so it will be high temperature tempering, medium temperature tempering or you can say low temperature tempering process. So that will be depends upon my existing structure by the quenching process. So these stainless steels having a 12 to 18 percentage chromium but contains high carbon percentage and that will be maximum 1.2 percentage of the carbon is being present into the material. So if carbon content is increasing as compared to ferritic stainless steel so it will be hardness it will be also increasing because of the carbon is being present into that so these steels can be hardened by the heat treatment but their corrosion resistance is reducing 
So these steels are used for making the surgical knives, hypodetermic needles, bolts, nuts, screws, blades and many more. Then third one, austenitic tendon steel. So austenitic phase is being present into the steel. So austenite it will be the soft phase and most important and costlier among all the stainless steel material. These steels besides chromium, nickel is also added. Nickel is very strong, austenite stabilizer as well as therefore the microstructure of this structure austenitic steel at room temperature just you can see. So austenite phase is being present into this structure and austenite inside the graphite in the form of that black colors or you can see gray colors. So the most common among the stainless steels is 18 by 8 steels. Its composition is 18% of the chromium, 8% of the nickel. And the carbon, in that case, austenitic stainless steels, it will be having a less percentage. So 0.08 to 0.2% carbon is only present. So your steel material becoming softer than any other steel materials as we discussing for the ferritic steel as well as the martensitic steel. So these three, the martensitic stainless steel, it will be having a higher hardness, but austenitic stainless steel, it will be softer as compared to two others. Such steel have extremely good corrosion resistance, but they cannot be hardened by the heat treatment process because of the less amount of carbon is being there. So if the carbon percentage is less, so it will be having a difficulties to make a hardened steel because you cannot be performing the quenching process or you cannot be controlling that cooling rate to make the hardened material because of the less amount of carbon percentage is being present in this kind of steels. So if you want to make hardened steel, so up to some amount of carbon percentage is being present or you can say more than 0.6 to 8 percentage carbon is present into the steels then and then you will make a hardening process onto that steel material but here maximum 0.2 percentage carbon is being present so it will be having uh, difficulties to make the hardening process or you can say quenching process to make a hard material with austenitic stainless steel. So I hope you can understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering.